Hello you big fat bestie in Bangkok and this is my hotel which is the Heaven at Four Hotel directly opposite you'll find the Swan beer bar and restaurant and also uh, the little side soy which takes you through to soy six Hello you, I'm Big Fat Bestie in Bangkok and I'm in lift. Going up to floor number five and uh, with a bit of luck I'm going to give you a room tour of my room here at the Heaven at Four Boutique Hotel. This is the room I'm staying in, it's a uh, mini suite and because uh, I've got my Do Not Disturb sign shoved on it. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. They wouldn't have cleaned my room. So it's a bit of a mess. Let's see if we can shed some light on the room. And this is it. So let's start with the fact that it's got no windows, not a single window at all. It does have a big messy bed, uh, which did get some use last night, but we don't talk about that on YouTube. This area here, I'm not sure what is going on with it. I'm not sure why it's out of focus too. Should be all right, there we go, that's better. Uh, so yeah, we've got this desk here, uh, and a mirror, perfectly fine. And then we've got this. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a viewing platform, but there's steps here which go up to it and go up to the bed. So I don't know if you want to you know, sit on here and watch what's going on, I don't know. Uh, we've got a quite big uh, Samsung flat screen TV, uh, which has got normal TV channels on the normal telly, and then it's got a cable box down here and a DVD player as well. Uh, I think this is the biggest kettle I've ever seen in my entire life. It's huge. Those cups, by the way, are massive. That's a regular glass there. Those are the massive cups, and there's an incredibly huge kettle. Bizarre. Uh, no smoking, which is bad for me, because uh, I do smoke, but not in here, because I don't want to be charged 2,000 baht. Uh, what else we got here then? Uh, so we got the uh, signage, do not disturb or make up room, so I'm going to keep that on actually, because I'm going to be in here. We've got the aircon, uh, which is loud, so I'm not going to turn it on. And then we move into the bathroom. Howdy. Uh, I've actually just bought some... Uh, crap here, I've got some uh, toothpaste and some hair gel, so I'll stick that in there. Uh, very important. For manscaping. Someone might be able to tell me how I can focus this in. We've got the toilet down here, and we got the shower in here, which has a regular shower and a rain shower nozzle too, which is pretty good. And you've got your soap and your shampoo, which is complimentary. Moving back into the main room, I'd love to show you the view, but as I said, there isn't one. No windows whatsoever in this room. Uh, we do, however, have a mini bar, mini fridge, with all the uh, usual suspects in there. Uh, we do have beer which is quite handy as it is Big Buddha Day today. So the bars are closed until midnight. It's about seven o'clock now, so five hours to wait. And that is pretty much it when it comes to the room. Oh, apart from, you have the uh, wardrobe with a mini safe in it. When I say mini safe, I do mean mini safe. Um, that's not big enough for a laptop, I'm afraid. So uh, I have to just wing it with a laptop, but it's big enough for the iPad and headphones and GoPro and this camera when I'm not using it. So there you have it. Oh, and there you have the uh, phone to ring down to reception for whatever reason. Uh, this is the uh, junior suite then at the Heaven at Four Boutique Hotel. Maybe if I turn some of that, let's have a look what happens here. Nothing at all. Okay, that keeps that one on. Now, nah, don't understand what's happening. It's all off now. Uh, yeah, so that is the uh, mini suite at the uh, junior suite at the uh, Heaven at Four 
boutique hotel. I got it through Agoda. I can't exactly remember how much it was. I think it was about 30 quid a night. So it doesn't break the bank. It's not a brilliant room. It's a little bit old. If you look on the wall, on the wall here, some of the paint has come off. I think they probably stuck some of the notices up there at some stage, which has disappeared. But all in all, it's okay. And if you uh, do suffer with jet lag, uh, like, oh, look at this, by the way. This is green. You've got the green light up here. Uh, so, yeah, if you do suffer with jet lag, uh, like I do, uh, then it's quite beneficial not to have any windows in the room. So when it you turn everything off, it is pitch black. So do I recommend this hotel? Yeah, kind of. It's uh, in an interesting location. It's about a 200-yard walk down to Nana Plaza. And if you're into freelancers, you are in luck. You have all variety of freelancers going between here and Nana Plaza itself. Uh, so... That's the room tour. That's where I've been staying in Bangkok. I'm probably going to be in Pattaya by now. Uh, thank you for watching the vlogs. I uh, hope you're enjoying it so far. And uh, more to come very, very soon. Take care. Vlog off.